Ford's 6.7 liter diesel engine has been in production since 2011 and in that time it's proven itself to be a very reliable engine. Now as great of an engine as they are, they still can have problems like any engine and I recently ran into a hard to diagnose problem on a 2015 6.7 liter engine. So I thought I would share that here today and uh, what the fix was and hopefully save someone else some time diagnosing one. The customer's complaint was the check engine light would come on and the truck would lack power when they were towing trailers. The code in the memory on this truck was P0093, fuel system leak detected, large leak. Now where I think this code comes from is the powertrain control module can calculate how much fuel is going through the injectors into the engine and it also can calculate how much fuel the high pressure pump is pumping and when the two don't match it determines that there must be a fuel leak somewhere whether an injector is leaking fuel whether it's leaking it through on the return system for some reason the pump is having to work harder than it should to produce the correct pressure now we ran a high pressure fuel system test and everything passed we followed all the pinpoint tests and the powertrain control and emissions diagnostics manual and it has you pull a return line off and check that none of the return circuits on any of the injectors are leaking uh, it has you look at the individual fuel trim on each injector. I believe it had us do a cylinder contribution test. And then it also had us install a fuel line on the driver's side fuel rail and cycle the fuel pump inlet valve open and closed. And then also the fuel pressure regulator valve open and closed and check the flow. Check that there was flow when the valves were open and none when they were closed. And it passed all these tests. Everything worked like it should. And I think the problem was is that the fault only occurred under really heavy load, like when you're pulling a trailer. And I think it probably had something to do with heat buildup and just the duty cycle on the solenoids under those kind of load conditions. And I always hate when you can't verify what the problem actually is. And this was one of those cases that we just never could verify what it was for sure. In the end, I replaced the fuel pressure regulator on the uh, driver's side fuel rail, and that did fix the problem. The fuel pressure regulator is located all the way at the back of the driver's side of the engine compartment. It screws into the very back of the fuel rail on that side, kind of down behind the brake booster or beside it. While you can see the fuel pressure regulator from above, Definitely the easiest way to replace it is through the driver's wheel well. Take out the plastic inner wheel well liner and then you're looking right at it. And I believe it is a 1 and 3 16 wrench to remove it. The 1 and 3 16 nut that is closest to the threads is actually the one you need to break loose. The other nut is just there so you can hold the body index correctly so the electrical connector is pointing in the correct direction while you tighten down the locking nut. If you found that helpful, please click the like button down below. We got some more great stuff coming and new videos every Monday, so please subscribe. And as always, have a great week.